In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do calculations using Fluent Forms. So let's take a look here at our first example. So this one here is maybe for someone who wants to go into the chicken business and find out how profitable it is. So I've gone ahead and entered some figures in here. So if I were to come here and enter the number of chickens, I would say, let's, for, let's say, for example, a thousand chickens. And my selling price is going to be, let's say, $10 per chicken. And you can see here it's calculating everything. Now the cost per chick is going to be maybe a dollar. And now we can see that the cost of chicks here is going to be a thousand. Our revenue is going to be 10,000 because it's going to be uh, $10 here per chicken times these 1,000 chickens. So that's going to be 10,000. And it also calculates now our gross profit and which is this 3,500 here, the cost per uh, of the feed and also the cost per chick, giving us our gross profit of 5,500. So if I change these values here, it automatically calculates everything for me. So you can see there, it is giving me my calculations. If I say maybe 10,000, I can get have an idea of how much gross profit I can have raising these chickens. I also have another example here, and this one here is a basic one. Uh, it's about uh, how many minutes you spend running and then the calories per minute you burn, and this gives you a total. So let's say I spend 10 minutes running running and this will give me a total of 100 calories per minute and this will be 1000 calories. I wish it was that simple. So anyway, these are just examples of what you can do with Fluent Form. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set all this up. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Fluent Forms using my affiliate link, you will get access to a discount. So the discount and all the information is in the video description below. Let's get started. All right, so I've logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. I've gone ahead and installed Fluent Forms and Fluent Forms Pro. This is where we get all the advanced features. So what I'm gonna do now is to create a brand new form. So I'm gonna come over here, create form, and then I'm gonna say create form. This is a blank one. And what I need to add in here are my numerical fields. So I'm gonna enter my first one, the second one, third one. So we're gonna start off with a basic one here, and then I'm gonna show you an advanced version that I did. So over here now, we are going to go in and say minutes running. And then in the second one, in fact, you know what, while we are here, I'm going to copy this, come all the way down to advanced options. And in this numerical field, I'm just going to go and replace that with minutes running. So this just makes it easier for me to find my fields as I'm editing this. All right, so let's move on to the next one. So in the next field, it's going to be calories per minute burnt. So let's add that. Great, and then I'm gonna come all the way down here to advanced options, and then I'm gonna, in the name attribute, I'm gonna enter calories per minute as well. All right, great. So we need to decide now how many calories per minute are burnt. So let's say it's 10 calories per minute. Okay, let's just make a note of that, all right? 10 calories per minute. So we now need to work out the total calories. So if we come over here now, click on this little pencil icon, it's gonna take us to our customization. So here I'm gonna call this total calories like that. And I'm also gonna copy this, come all the way down here to advanced options. And I'm gonna enter it in the uh, name attributes just like that. Now here's where the fun starts because we need to calculate this so that when um, our members are entering their, their minutes and their calories, everything's gonna be worked out easier. So I'm gonna come over here and enable calculation. And this is where I can start adding all my information. So the first one here is going to be our minutes running. Can you see that is it's showing now on the drop down, and it's showing this much, much easier now. So I'm gonna say minutes running. So this one here is going to be our first item we're going to use to calculate. Oops, I've done it twice. Okay, so minutes running. So I'm gonna say multiply that by the calories per minute. So I'm gonna add my multiplying like that, come on the drop down, and enter my calories per minute. Okay, now we also need to multiply this by 10 because remember we said calories per minute uh, needs to be multiplied by 10, okay? So I'm gonna go in and say multiplied by 10. Now, let's see if this is going to work. So I'm going to save the form and then I'm going to preview and design. All right, so I'm going to say minutes running. Maybe I spend 10 minutes and then calories per minute. In fact, you know what? I missed a step here. So for calories per minute, I need to go back in here and say advanced options. 
enable calculation and I need to say minutes running times 10. So I'm going to say minutes running and multiply that by 10. Because remember, we said if you run a minute, it's going to be 10 calories. All right. And for the total calories now, it's going to be the minutes running plus the calories per minute. So let's go back in here and fix that. So I'm going to come all the way down here to advanced options. Now, you do need to write this formula down because it just makes things easier. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do that. So I want to go in here and say minutes running. And then I am going to multiply this by calories per minute. Save my form. And then I'm going to preview this. All right, great. So you can see here, everything is grayed out. So if I enter my minutes here, so let's say I spent like 10 minutes running. That's going to be 100 calories. And then the total calories burnt is 1,000. So you can see here, it's doing our calculations. Of course, this is not accurate at all. Uh, I've just, I just made this up. So we can further customize this and even say, you know what, why don't we add swimming to this? Why don't we add skipping or press-ups or chin-ups or whatever exercises it is to then come up with our total calories burnt. Now, let me show you how you can take this form and add it on a page and make it look much nicer. So I'm gonna come over here now and copy this short code right here in the top right. I'm gonna copy that. And then I am going to design a new page. So I'm gonna come over here and add a brand new page. So let's just call this page calories. I'm gonna use the DV Builder for this. I'm gonna click on start building. So when it comes to my short codes, I prefer using a text module. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come over here to build from scratch and I am going to add my form over here. So let me add my text module and set it like that. Next, I'm just going to replace. In fact, let me snap this over to the left. I'm just going to replace this text with my short code just like that. And then over here on the design, what I like about this is I can go into my text here and set my font. So in this case, let's say it's going to be Poppins. I'm going to select that and notice that it's just updated there, which is pretty cool. I can even go in and add my colors if I needed to. So that is the little customizations that I can do with this form. So if I wanted to uh, perhaps maybe add a video over here to the right that explains what is going on, I can come over here and add my video. So let's add it like that. So here's my video. And you know what? Let me add also my overlay. So for my overlay, I'm going to click here on this plus button. Do I have my, any images? No images. Okay, so I'll leave the overlay for now. But uh, how this would work is I would add my overlay image. You know what? In fact, let me just add it. So I'm going to come over here, upload. And I'm going to go to my media library and look for an image. Now it has to be something that relates to working out. Okay, let's go with this one. So I'm just showing you this as an example. So I'm going to say upload an image. And there we go. So there is my image right there. I am going to save this. And you know what? I can also go in here and make this form look much better. So let's swap the sides here. I'm going to bring the form over here to the right. So next, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring the form over to the right. So I'm going to click here on expand and then click on wireframe view. So it's just easier for me to just drag and drop it here. So I'd rather have my video over here to the left. All right, so with that said, I'm now going to go in here and uh, just give this form a nice background. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to my rows and go into the second column and then give this a background color. So let's go ahead and give this a nice background color. And color should be go with. Okay, let's go with that. All right, so next I am going to uh, give this some padding. So I'm going to go in and go to spacing and let's say 20 all around. There we go. So that's our form right there. I think that looks much, much better. And also on the borders, I'm going to uh, just soften this by giving this five pixels like that. And that's pretty cool. There we go. So I have my form now. Uh, I can also go in and further customize this, but you know what? We don't want to spend too much time here. Let's save this now and exit the Visual Builder. So there we go. So now I can go in and add my minutes running. So let's say I've spent uh, 20 minutes. So that's uh, 200 calories per minute. That gives me a total of 400. Now, if I say submit uh, form, I can actually redirect this to any page on my website. So 
maybe for more information or maybe for the next step of what they need to do after they've run or after they've burned the 4,000 calories. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.